details about the final hours of Jovan Belcher's life. He's the Kansas City Chiefs linebacker, spent the night with another woman before going home in the morning, fighting with his girlfriend, Cassandra Perkins, and shooting her repeatedly. This after many people report that he was drunk the night before and spent the evening at the home of another woman. Dr. Keith Ablo, psychiatrist, Fox News contributor, and sir, good morning to you, doctor. Um, I just morning. want you to take us through these details. Fell asleep in his car outside the home of another woman. Uh, he, was, he was woken by police inside the car. Then he apparently went inside the building and spent the night there before he got up in the morning and went home. And when he went home is when everything unfolded from there. But put all this together then. So it, it, this is a, a mystery because of the enormity of the tragedy. There's a little girl with no parents. There's been a murder and a suicide. So now comes the task of trying to explain what might be seem to be the inexplicable. But what we do know, seemingly, is that there's a long night of drinking involved, that perhaps there's another woman involved. And what we do know is that this fellow uh, has a history of violent altercations with women. Uh, back in 2006 and 2007, one involved breaking a window, uh, nearly severing his thumb and cutting his wrist, uh, again, in a heated exchange with a woman. 2007, a shouting match to which security was called at the college. Uh, why? Because uh, Mr. Belcher felt uh, that a woman hadn't been honest with him about the time she was going to call him. And then we hear that again he may have been upset with his girlfriend about whether she had come back from a party at the right time. So what we know is that, like many domestic abusers, this individual seems to have repeated conflicts with women. Mm -hmm. Then the other theories come into play. Uh, was this made worse? Or perhaps is the origination of this from repeated head trauma? If, in fact, his football career included traumatic injuries but, of but that so kind. But so far, there's no severity. evidence to even suggest that he even had a concussion playing. I mean, that may prove differently in the end. Exactly. But right now, we don't know that. We know he shot this woman nine times. And, and yes. when you try and explain murder to us, you often describe that as rage or anger. When you're shooting a bullet one time, that says something about the intent that you have. But nine times repeatedly in front of your own mother suggest high levels of anger at a minimum, does it not, doctor? Well, it certainly suggests anger, but Bill, you got to go to the other issues, which are the disinhibition issues. So we want to know, and these are theories, none proven, were there drugs involved? Were any of these drugs steroids? Did he have a history of any brain injury? He had complained about depression. Uh, did he have bipolar disorder and the kind of disinhibition that can come with the manic phase of bipolar disorder? But listen, the glaring thing, the thing as a forensic psychiatrist that stands out is that if you told me everything that happened, and started theorizing about it and left until the end, oh, well, but back in 2006 and 2007, he bullied these women and was tremendously emotional and, in fact, violent with them, whether verbally or physically. I'd say, well, wait a second. You, you've mentioned the head trauma. You've mentioned whether you used steroids or he didn't. But there's the money 